the Riley and Kimmy show at Famous Faces and Funnies in Melbourne, Florida, and a big nerd day has happened here in Melbourne, Florida. Artist Tony Daniel has been here. And first question, how did today go for you, my friend? Uh, fantastic. Uh, the, the people that I met are, were just uh, friendly and fun and, uh, you know, enthusiastic and great to talk to. And, um, you know, just, you know, great crowd, great group of people. It was really, really enjoyable for me to meet everybody. Now, did you get some, because you were doing some sketching, which surprised me. And did you get, like, something that somebody wanted a lot of? Like, you were getting somebody, I want you know, death stroke a lot. Was there, it wasn't varied today. Well, I, I wish I got more death strokes because he's so easy to draw. I mean, it, you know, I can probably draw him in like, you know, 30 seconds, but, uh, uh, you know, for the most part, people want Batman or, um, who else did I, I did a, I did a Superman, which was fun. And, um, uh, Wonder Woman you did. Harley, Harley Quinn, Wonder Woman. But I think, you know, probably I, I think I've, I definitely did more Batman, uh, which, which is not unusual. Ooh. Ooh, I, I wonder why. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why. You know, I, I, I've done them for a long time, and uh, you know, I think people still um, identify, you know, my work to you know the years that I spent doing Batman. Sure. So you know, a lot of people, you know, no. you don't want a headshot from. No, I don't want to offend anybody that I know it's an artist, but you do the best Joker that I know. And matter of fact, I have lucky, lucky Epic Comics. Al had you at his store a year ago and you did a Joker for me and it is in our studio. Uh, it is the best. And I mean, it's gorgeous. Thank, thank you. You know, Joker, na just naturally, uh, you, you know, it just comes naturally with, uh, whenever I draw him. I just, uh, I love to draw the Joker. And you know, if I love to draw somebody or a character, uh, it, it really shows and it's easy for me and it just looks better and uh, um, you know and I, and I think it shows and people you know uh, uh, can see the the energy and the drawings or, or, or whatever but uh, but yeah I'm very flattered but I you know I, I, I do really enjoy drawing the Joker so that I think that has a lot to do with it now one of the things that touched me today is I noticed that you took time and went through somebody's portfolio and I believe that, did you start out that way too? I mean, where you went to tables and stuff and got some opinions by artists? And my, it's a two question here. Is that fading away? Do you see less people doing that now in today's day and age and they're relying on Facebook and, you know, whatever, Instagram to get exposure or criticism? Um, well, uh, to answer the first part, uh, yeah, that's how I started off. I, I was doing samples and I would go to uh, the Comic Con in Chicago, which is where I'm from. and. I would show the editors uh, my artwork and try to get feedback, and um, uh, that's eventually, you know, what led me to getting into Marvel was was getting feedback from an editor and um, uh, listening to his instructions and advice and keeping in touch. Um, so that that was really uh, helpful for me as as a, as a way to get in, and I, I, I see people still doing that when I am at a show I do I do get a few people coming up and, and giving me their samples and uh, so I don't think that's going away but at the same time I do see a lot of people also using you know social media um, uh, to showcase their artwork and I think uh, they you know it's very beneficial for them because they can reach a, a broader audience they can you know they can generate buzz for themselves they can get a lot of you know likes and that it generates heat and then you know maybe that gives them some recognition uh with an editor somewhere so i i think both ways are great i think uh i think one-on-one -on -one interaction is is really helpful but at the same time the one-on-one -on -one, uh contact with an editor might be hard to get sometimes at a convention. Sometimes they're not looking at this time. Sometimes they're nowhere to be found. Sometimes you miss the time that they that they were available to look right. at your work. Or uh, you know, so I, I can see you know why uh, you know that it's so beneficial to have that social media outlet to to showcase your art as a new artist. It's, it's a great tool okay. to have. It's great. And it's really cool. He actually looked at you. Took time. It wasn't like, oh, okay. You actually gave, you know, tips. And I, I was like, that's way cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, he waited a long time. You know. So the least I can do is 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 pay him some attention because uh, you know he waited so long. And and uh, and the, the the thing was is that he he was good. Uh, I just didn't see any sequential art, and I mean, that was my recommendation. Show me sequential art, not just pinups, because that's that's the whole key to uh, being a comic book artist. Is Telling the to, story? 
is to be a storyteller and you can only do that if you're drawing panels and sequential artwork and showing a story unfolding and um, uh, you know, I think I think he get, he got that point, and uh, hopefully I see him next year, and he shows me some sequential art, which was my advice to him. And fantastic! Now I know you've got to get packed up. We're leaving Famous Faces and Funnies tomorrow. It's Orlando Toy and Comic Con. You are one of the guests there. Uh, I mean, you're you're going to have prints available, right? Yes, yeah, so I have some prints, and uh, depending on the situation or the crowd, I, I might do sketches. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, it really depends on how the day unfolds. Okay. Um, but uh, I'm really there to just meet the fans and meet you know whoever comes by and and uh, to talk to people and and you know just have a have a good time and you know uh, uh, I, I I get as much fun out of it as, as hopefully they they get. Uh, meeting me. It, it looks like it. I've, it's twice I've seen you at a, at a you know situation like this and you look like you're having a great time and I think everybody leaves the table very happy. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at the Orlando Toy and Comic Con. Tony S. Daniel, come on out. Check out OrlandoToyComicCon.com for more information and thank you for being on the Riley and Kimmy Show. Thank you for having me.